This is Aya. Thank you for joining me on my channel, Wild Free and Tangled Fairy. And we're going to do a reading for the last quarter. Moon is going to be um, in Libra on Friday the 17th. And um, that same day, the moon is going to be entering into Scorpio. Um, so we want to follow the, the cycles and the daily events of the moon. To give us the, a clue as to where we should be for our long-term goals and, and short-term goals. So the last quarter moon, you want to look back at what projects you have started and begin, begin to start wrapping them up. So that you can prepare to move into a new manifestation um, during the full moon. And, and I mean, doing the new moon coming up on January 24th. And, and what I mean by that is um, in my new in my moon manifestation group, we focus on our goals and we hold each other accountable for two week goals. There's two weeks between each new moon and full moon cycle. And so if you are um, living according to the cycles, then you will manifest the things that you want in your life, whether that be love, whether that be um, money, um, and, and whether that be healing. It's good to um, be a part of a community system that loves you so much that they care to uh, assist you through prayer and through encouragement to help you reach your highest and best self. So we're going to focus on Saturn and Pluto and what messages um, this energy has for you for the last quarter and what you need to be wrapping up and moving on towards for um, the new cycle that's coming. I already shuffled. first card that comes out is the seven of swords reversed which is good that means that um you have been taken into consideration the things that need to be uncovered in your life that may not have been you may not have been forthcoming in the past about who you are and why you were creating the things you were creating and the thoughts that you were um, presenting to the universe um, and to your life and now you're starting to take into consideration what you say what you scribe and that's exactly right that's where you're at right now This is good. What's crossing this situation is a, a new beginning. The magician, number one, me, okay? So you may not be used to putting yourself first. You may not be used to looking at yourself like you're the one. You're the creator of your life. You're the magician. You have all the tools. You have everything you need in order to um, go on your journey. This is something that um, was missing from your life before. Um, and, and I know everybody, everybody that um, I, I assist always tells me, I've been doing this. I, I already know this stuff. I don't know why I'm struggling. I don't know why. Look, healing, living is, is, is a upkeep. You, Mother Nature is always... Um, Growing and then pruning and um, and then rebirthing is there's nothing new under the sun. I know you already know these things, but what's wrong with learning on a deeper level and what's wrong with um, going into maybe the unknown parts of yourself that that still need assistance and growing in confidence? The magician is about 
It's about self-confidence and having faith in yourself. And this is something that is crossing you. This is something that may be bringing you a sense of imbalance and chaos right now. But at least you're being true to yourself. At least you're doing it. You may not know exactly how to do it, but you're doing it. What's in your subconscious mind is the King of Swords reverse. This is simple um, needing to be disciplined with your um, criticism. Just like I said before, you know, there's there's a, a sense of new beginning and there's a sense of I the magician can sometimes be overconfident. This is a sense that since I already know, then I shouldn't need help and I shouldn't reach out for help. I should go off on my journey, some of the on, on my own and see what I can get done, because for some reason there's pride, there's pride in not needing anybody. There's pride in not needing support. But um, what I've been learning personally is that when I have when I'm reaching out for help, I um, feel better and I can't handle everything on my own. It takes a village to raise a me. All right. Um, and your conscious mind is the six of pentacles reversed. So we're still dealing here with with imbalances. Um, not sharing, not sharing the load, putting too much other burden on yourself. And maybe still having people in your life that are unfair, that aren't really appreciating your new journey. You may not really be appreciating your new journey just as of yet. It's still too new to tell. But do, um, the last quarter moon is about letting go of what no longer serves you. If you see that there are some thoughts, some individuals that should not um, keep on keep going along with you on this particular juncture of your journey then feel free to let them release them release them release yourself to newness it keeps hearing that it's okay to be like a little child okay lovers here Eight of Wands reversed here. In the past, the recent past, you were at a crossroads. You had some decisions to make. And um, <laughs> it looks like you have decided, you're going to decide in the near future to move on. But in, with impatience. This is uh, Eight of Wands reversed. is about being impatient. I'm sensing that. I know people want to get out of the uncomfortable position really fast, but the way to get out of feeling uncomfortable is to um, allow yourself to learn something new. Allow yourself to um, let down your guard so that you can um, become something that you don't know. You don't know. You think you know, but you have no idea. It's that type of thing. So if you if you can open up to that that possibility of train of thought, you could um, ease some of the the discomfort in this process. The world, and I'm just going to pick all four cards. I knew this was coming out. The will of fortune. This is beautiful, actually. Ooh, oh my goodness. Man. The three of swords and the two of cups. Wait the a minute. I don't know what cuss word goes there. <laughs> Let's go. I'm excited. All right. The world completion. You have completed um, a cycle. This is a, a circle. This is you being born, coming out on the other end. Rebirth. New you. New confidence. 
but this is you completing a cycle and and feeling um like you've graduated to another level and I feel like maybe that's why you kind of feel insulted by the um the kind of like the wobbly legs you have you seen like a baby calf being born and it takes a while to it takes a while to get your legs up underneath you and you're like hey I'm better than that you know I I've worked hard I I that's what I keep hearing people say I've been healing for two years <laughs> god damn it I don't want to keep hearing these same messages over and over again. But honey, if you look at your astrology chart, that's you. Those are your lessons, this lifetime. Sit in it. Be with it. Allow it. Be aware of it. And learn how to work with yourself. That's really all the universe is asking. All right. Um, And the will of fortune is in your environment. Oh, man. So that means according to... Um, the choices that you make, how you talk to yourself or how you allow other people to talk to you. No criticism. It's not do it, it does not help. I promise you it doesn't. Um, the, the six of pentacles reverse. Stop giving away your bussy for free, your goodies, your, your love, your money and your time. At least turn this up right and have it be a fair exchange, okay? Doesn't that feel a little bit better? The scales, balance the scales here, okay? According, if you play your cards right, although you um, have experienced grief um, in the past, and you're like, I don't want to get my heart broken, and that could be um, with love. Most of the time, I see this in the love reading when people, when there's a love triangle and there's cheaterizations going on, Um but in this reading, what has just come to me is is that it could be anything. It could be your hopes and dreams. It could be um, your 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 projects that you want to create. You like I don't want to be disappointed. Now I've given you some tools if you were listening how to not disappoint yourself by um, keeping track of the new moon and the full moon, writing out your goals. If you don't get uh, with uh, me and and the group that I made then get with another group. I don't believe that anyone should suffer through the agony cuz we're not made to be alone guys. I'm sorry but we're not. We're not whole without each other. The end result is your wholeness and possibly meeting your mate. The end result, the outcome is the Purusha. It's Puravati and Shiva. Ah, oh, I knew I should have brought that. It's Puravati and Shiva. It's wholeness. That's what you're trying to achieve. Now, some of us have a goal of love and partnership. That's good. <clears throat> I just ran upstairs. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with that. I love that goal. That's a root chakra goal. It's a, it's a necessity. So the attitude that um, you should be able to make it on, on your own, like I am everything. You are everything and everything is you. But you're not here by yourself. We, we are a part of the whole. We are a piece of the ocean. Yes, you are the ocean, but you're a drop in a bucket. You can't really make a big splash and big waves without your other brothers and sisters. That's the message that I'm seeing here. Let me pull, um, um, where's my unicorns? Power off. Thank you. Found them. Ha ha. She says, dance. Move your body to music. Dance with the rhythm of life. Manifest your dreams through dance. I love this card. 
She says, Dancing will help you shake off any stuck energy that may be blocking a manifestation and help you speed up the delivery of your desires. Movement and music open your chakras, get your energy flowing, and unleash the feel-good endorphins that help align you with more balance, abundance, with more abundance. Dancing can be used to shift you from doubt, worry, fear, or anger into optimism, excitement, and gratitude. Put on music to match the energy you need to shift and let your body guide the dance to find release. Meaning, like, if you're feeling hurt, if you're feeling burnt out, or if you're feeling, like, grieving, gr make a grieving dance. Let go of any need to dance well and find freedom in moving without inhibition. When you have shifted into a higher space, put on uplifting music and bring in your dreams Bring in your dreams with dance. Imagine yourself living the life you really want, then call it with your body. So, um, I I do this when I belly dance. It's about your emotions and it's about connection. But it doesn't have to be a belly dance. It could be just um, expressing the postures that you're holding in your body and letting them out. Um, um, being powerful intentions out to the universe while you are in this high energy state and let them be carried on the waves of joy radiating out from you. Make dancing a daily manifesting practice and you will soon enjoy the physical and energetic benefits that come with feeling good. This joyful unicorn tells you that your body wants to move and flow with music and it is time to honor that desire. I agree. I feel like... Um, this message here with these cards and with this unicorn is letting you know that you do have what it takes to manifest what you want. I feel like that's where some of the criticism comes in. It's like in the past, you have gotten messages that you don't have what it takes to be whole, to, to, to live the life of your dreams. You have what it takes. Now it's about shifting these, getting this energy out through dance. I want to see you dance. Okay, make me some videos, write it down in the comments. I want to know, how did it go? I know that um, after I dance in the morning, it, it really boosts my energy. I can tell the difference between when I don't do it and when I do do it. So that's the message. Thank you so much for um, joining me. Again, I, I invite you all to join me on um, Patreon so that we can get through this together. Peace to you.